Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the second quarter of 2022, April through June. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and see what is going on for you at this time. There will um, not be a part two, by the way. I'm just going to do one part. And I'm going to be clarifying in this reading. Also, I'm using the uh, Prisma Visions Tarot if you're wondering what deck this is. But uh, let's get started here, Scorpio. You start off with this hearth card up here. I'll show you in just a second. Um, that hearth card, it says uh, it says Vesta on it. It's Vesta. It's actually the card Vesta. And it just says hearth on it. So I feel for some of you that it's kind of like you're looking for a certain sense of security. I also feel like you could be... Uh, it's, it's almost like... The way I see this is a source of energy. I mean, look at look at the middle <laughs> there. There's a hearth in the middle, glowing flame, you know? And I kind of feel for a lot of you that um, that middle flame there is kind of like a source of energy, something that fulfills you, something that um, provides you with like joy, happiness, fulfillment, all these things. Some of you have this, others of you don't. And um, you know, I think a major focus in this reading is that you are building something. It's like you're laying a foundation or creating an environment that fulfills you. And that seems to be the most important thing here, plain and simple. Really good reading. You have the Empress here, you have the Justice card, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, really good cards and um, you have this fulfillment card next which is amazing so a lot of fulfillment here you have the five of wands the page of swords and the queen of pentacles what i would this first row is extremely easy uh here scorpio what i would say is this right here five of wands right um the words that i'm getting here are that like I feel like you need to realize you, you could be in a situation where you think what you have done up into this point is the best that you can do. And I feel like there is so much more <laughs> over on the rest of this reading. It's like saying, you know, you have not experienced your best days yet. And, you know, I, I feel that might be a little sensational, but I feel like that's what you need to look forward to here um, because I feel like things can be so much better. You're gonna have to put the work in to make that happen. Knight of Pentacles here, strength card. Strength is a daily practice. It's not, you know, strength, it requires, you have to work out every single day basically to have strength, right? So it's something that's gonna require work, but I feel like if you put in the work, it'll be so much better than going back to the past. Um, even this next card, the Page of Swords, you can see this person here on the Page of Swords is actually pointing towards the past in the reading. If they're on the table, they're going this direction, which is you know further into the past, basically. Um, and I really feel that Page of Swords is basically saying, you know, maybe what I have done so far is the best I can do. That's really what I get from this reading. And what I would say is, no, it's not. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, normally she's focused on the Pentacle, which she is here. Normally there's a little rabbit down here on a traditional Queen of Pentacles. And the rabbit can represent anxieties, fears, um, you know, th think, you know, the Queen of Pentacles might think that she can or can't accomplish something. And so I feel with this Queen of Pentacles, it's like saying what you focus on is going to be extremely important for you. You need to focus on what you have and what you can do, and that will lead to a lot of success. You also have, you have so many clues here. You know, you have the Two of Swords as well. Two of Swords normally is a person who's got their swords over their chest. They have the blindfold on and they have a new island behind them. They need to go to the new land. They need to go towards something new. So I feel like saying like the best is yet to come here, Scorpio, for sure. Uh, in your next row of messages from your future self, this is what your future self um, wants to tell you in, in the future from June till now, <laughs> what you should be doing for the next few months. You have this fulfillment card. I love this. I feel like you should be looking to create more opportunities for fulfillment. And I feel like you need to look for more opportunities to create fulfillment. Uh, this can start very small. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, both of those cards, by the way, three and Knight of Pentacles, little tiny little steps is all we need to do. So it's like, you know, I get a lot of comments from people that are like, I don't have enough time uh, to, you know, create fulfillment and all this other stuff. And I'm always like, well, you know, okay, maybe, but <laughs> what I would say is, Really, I feel like these can be tiny little things. It's like maybe you can just take like two seconds out of your day to, you know, look at something and to enjoy it or be grateful for it. That's a great way to create fulfillment. Maybe you can take a few seconds out of your day to do something that makes you feel fulfilled. Maybe journaling makes you feel fulfilled. Maybe writing down affirmations makes you feel fulfilled. Maybe, um, eating a cupcake makes you feel, feel fulfilled. We can all make time for cupcakes. So what I would say here, is that the fulfillment card, I feel like it's saying like start small and I feel like you will be extremely surprised at like 
how much things change and how quickly they do. It's free. It doesn't cost any money, right? Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Everybody getting the Queen of Swords. Again, I blame the Mars Retrograde this year. We're going to have Mar Mars Retrograde later on this year. I always say the entire year of Mars Retrogrades, the entire year that the Retrograde is in, no gossip, no talking behind people's back. I guarantee you it will come back to you um, and no getting into fights or petty arguments or anything like that. I would avoid arguments in the home, all that other stuff. Queen of Swords, right? And She's been coming up a lot. I swear it's because of that Mars retrograde. I said to someone else as well, we have a lot of stuff in the astrology that is exposing the truth. So I would also be careful of talking behind people's backs. I keep telling people this year, don't do it because it's going to be revealed. It's going to come back to you. There's too much truth in the astrology. You might not see it this year, but eventually it's going to come out is what I would say. So I would say no talking behind anyone's back, no taking part in gossip or anything like that. It's not that like, I don't think people are bad or malicious at this time, uh, but the way that I see the astrology, I, I feel like there are, there's just a lot of that, mm, you know, false friend type of energy where you think someone's a friend, you tell them something, it comes back to you. I would be very careful of that. Uh, with the four wands, this to me is freedom. You go from the five of wands to the four of wands to justice in this diagonal right here, five of wands, four of wands, justice. The four of wands is the card of freedom in the tarot. We have to cross through a portal. There are normally people celebrating on the other side of a portal. And I feel for a lot of you that this portal is completion energy. Sometimes I feel like the four of wands, the four of wands is a card of completion. Normally there's that garland that hangs at the top between the two, uh, two sets of wands. And it's kind of like a finish line or accomplishing something. For a lot of you, I feel like you need to wrap, There, there is something that needs to be wrapped up in your life and your future self is encouraging you to just get it done right now. For some of you, I feel like it's a project that's been dragging out. I feel like it would be better for you to finish it, even if it's not perfect and get it out into the world than it would be to just let it linger for the rest of the year. Um, could be any type of project that you're working on. For others, it could be anything else that you're trying to finish up. It could be, like I said, a project, a business. It could be um, a divorce. <laughs> Maybe you're dragging it out. Maybe some just justice needs to happen. You have justice here. I feel like this is encouraging you to um, kind of not really get something out of your life, but it's like sometimes I think we just, you know, drag something out. Sometimes I think that when, when we don't need to, right? And I feel like this is saying, you know, put a time limit on something and get it finished, even if it's not perfect. I don't know, it's important for whatever reason. Uh, Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. You, you will probably surprise yourself at the quality of the work that you will have accomplished, plain and simple. And Three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork as well. So I feel like people want to help you uh, with this energy. Uh, next, you have this message of concern card. The weird thing is I put this down and I felt good about it. <laughs> I definitely feel that there could be a message that's coming in for you that could be concerning. It could be a legal message. It could be you know about a divorce or something else. It could be some other type of message of concern. How is that a good thing? Well, um, what I would say is I feel like it motivates you uh, or gets you off your butt or something. Yeah, you have courthouse. Again, I don't want to scare you or anything like that, but this could definitely be a legal message. Some of you, I feel like, are already dealing with a legal situation. And uh, again, there could be a message of concern, but what I would say is that you have the justice card here. So you have the two of swords, the knight of pentacles and the justice card. I really feel that this is saying that if you're involved in a legal situation, like a divorce or something is dragging out, I do feel like it needs to come to an end here, Scorpio, because you know, I feel like it would be better to get the situation out of your life than to drag it out. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so don't listen to me. I'm just some guy on the internet. You don't even know my background or anything like that, right? <laughs> so don't listen to me, as I always say. I would listen to someone who knows more about legal stuff than I do. And what I would say here is that, but what I would say is if you're dealing with a situation in the court that's just like dragging out, I feel like it would be better to end it and get it out of your life than it would be to just continuously you know, try to fight something. So again, listen to your legal expert, but you know, that's what this looks like to me. Uh, for others, I feel like this is just saying that you need to open up to different ways of doing things because of the two of swords. Like she's trying to protect herself from something, um, but if she just took her blindfold off and she turned around. Normally there are two rocks behind her and there's also a new island behind her as well. And I feel for some of you, you need to turn around and see that there are other opportunities, other directions that you could be going in. 
in your life. Again, we're going to clarify this in just a minute and we're going to see what's coming up, but I kind of feel like this is saying go somewhere new. Uh, you also have the Knight of Pentacles, which is like an energy of getting needing to get to work. It's card of being too cautious, um, not putting enough energy into something. So I do feel like some of you, this is about like needing to put work into things. The thing about the Justice card is, is it's cause and effect. Remember what I said about how even like a tiny little step for uh, towards fulfillment, I feel like will have a big effect. Justice says, if you put work into something, what do you get back? If you see progress, keep moving in that direction. If you don't, stop, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, you have this um, bag card and this mice card. Mice says discord among family or friends. Like I said, everybody's been getting this. I'd be very careful because of that Mars retrograde. Bag says something important, such as a new job or a raise, increasing your bag here, Scorpio. So there could definitely be a financial increase or more money coming in for you. Uh, in this last row, you have the strength card, the empress, and the four of pentacles. The, four, the, the um, strength card is something that requires work every single day. Uh, you know, it's something, like I said, that you're going to have to work towards. It, normally, the lady on this card is taming her inner beast, her you know inner monster, whatever you want to call it. And it's something she has to do every single day. So I feel for a lot of you, this is like a daily practice where you're working towards something. Uh, what are you working towards? Well, I would say more abundance, more success, more, um, you know, more of whatever you want. The Empress, she comes from an infinite source of, you know, energy, basically. There is normally a waterfall behind her on this card, and the waterfall, it's flowing to her. It represents two things. It represents chaotic force, not uh, understanding that life can change at any moment, but she also understands that that's infinite source energy, that she comes from infinite source intelligence. So she is truly abundant. And you have the four of pentacles. The only thing that can hold you back is holding on to the past is what I would say here, Scorpio. So definitely time to let go of the past. But uh, let's see where this is going. And I feel like there's a lot of fulfillment. You know, it could be a legal situation, but again, let's look into that. With the five of wands and the three of pentacles, you have the three of swords. I would avoid conflicts at all costs, for sure. I feel like there are conflicts that um, could be like holding you back or could be preventing your success. So I would say no conflicts at all, period, plain and simple. Uh, with the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords. Yep, again, I feel like you need to let go of the past. We said this with the Page of Swords, that it's like you could be thinking that the past is the best you can do. That is not true. <laughs> and this is not in one area of your life. I feel like saying the best is yet to come in your reading because, but but I feel like if you're looking on the past and you're saying, oh, this is the best I can do, I might as well stay here. Uh, no, is what I would say here. No limitations. Um with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, you have the Five of Cups. Again, disappointment, sadness, regrets, uh, you know, all those things. I feel like, you, you know, don't beat yourself up over the past either, is what I would say here. With the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, here you go. Nine of Pentacles, true independence, success, abundance coming in for you. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is a card of your environment. Normally, there's a little snail on the card over here. And snails wear their homes on their back. The, the whole point of the snail is is that it represents your environment with the Nine of Pentacles. We have to create, you know, never have I ever <laughs> thought that environment is so important as it is like this year, just this year. Um, I've been getting these messages about, you know, pretty much all of us needing to focus on our, our environment, making sure that it's like not only just, not just like clean, um, which I think is good because that allows the energy to move around, but also I feel like setting up ourselves up for an environment of success is going to be very important, making sure that um, you know we're, we're set up for the success we want, whatever that may be. If it's work, making sure your workspace is clean and organized, make sure there aren't any distractions and all that other stuff. Um, same thing in sleep. Maybe you're having problems sleeping, right? <laughs> maybe you have a TV in your room. Maybe you shouldn't shouldn't have a TV in your room, or maybe there's other distractions, right? So the Nine of Pentacles is about like looking at every single environment that you're in, including love as well, and making sure you're setting yourself up for success. With the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Two of Pentacles. Mm, I think things are about to get very busy for you, Scorpio. This is like um, busyness, getting to work. I actually like this with the Knight of Pentacles because, um, you know, normally the Knight of Pentacles is like no movement. But with the Two of Pentacles, it says you're about to get very busy, um, you know, working towards abundance with that Empress. With the Queen of Swords and the Justice card, you have the... High Priestess. Uh, justice and High Priestess is like looking at two sides, um, you know, looking at both sides of an issue. 
looking at what you're dealing with from all angles. And I feel like that's going to be very important for you with the High Priestess. Also, trust your intuition as well. With the Two of Swords and the Strength card, you have the Knight of Cups. Could be love coming in for you. You have the Four of Wands here. Uh, Empress could be very attractive at this time. So Knight of Cups would be a knight in shining armor. The Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups is also like your dream life, but um, he's normally standing in the desert and he's got a river flowing in front of him. And it kind of says like he could easily plant seeds along that river, even though he's in the desert. So again, more clues that kind of say you might think that there's nothing available to you, but there's actually like a lot coming in for you. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress, you have the lovers, definitely love coming in for you. So if you want love, this looks like new love to me. I definitely feel like some of you could be going through something legal or a separation. And this is just like a new opportunity coming in for you. I'm not really worried about this legal situation. Um, if you are dealing with a legal situation, I definitely feel like it's uncomfortable. But you have the justice card. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like there is going to be justice here uh, is what I would say to you. So, you know, there you go. Uh, with the Justice card and the Four of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups. Everybody's been getting the Four of Cups, and I think we need to realize that we're manifesting steps right now. We might not ma be manifesting exactly what we want, but we need to understand that we're manifesting the steps to move in the right direction uh, with the Four of Cups. So uh, I definitely like that. Uh, top row outcome, you have the Devil. Everyone's had the Devil so far. I would definitely avoid anyone toxic. Um, you know, because of that Mars retrograde, uh, I would avoid any tricky energy in general. I would also, I'm also getting like, I would avoid overworking, you know, working yourself to the bone here. Uh, middle row of the world. So accomplishments, there could be a lot of changes happening in the world this quarter. Um, you know, I've only just started these readings and I've just, you know, kind of noticed that there's a lot of changes, <laughs> deep, deep changes going on. We already see this, um, you know, happening in the world. But just like I just said, the best is yet to come for you. I feel like we've only seen the beginning of the changes that are going to be happening, the very, very beginning of the changes that are going to happen in the world. I keep telling people that we probably won't recognize the world by the time we get to like 2030, somewhere around there, 2033. Now that, that, that'll be like the end of the changes, but really I always say 2025 is going to be the significant change year, um, but then between 2025 and 2030-ish, somewhere around there, uh, we probably won't recognize the world is what I'd say. That sounds scary. I actually don't think it is. I think it's going to be a good thing, so... There you go. But I feel like your world is changing as well. A uh, bottom row outcome, you start and end with the five of wands. Five of wands, sorry, my camera might've just gone off, but five of wands really encourages you to go on an adventure. Again, it is my card I call Indiana Jones. To me, it represents going on some sort of crazy adventure. And, you know, go, like if you know the movies, Indiana Jones, he runs through a temple to find some treasure. I feel like there are some treasures that are coming in for you. I like, I don't wanna sugarcoat this reading. I feel like saying the best is yet to come, right? like I've been saying, but it's going to require work. It's going to require you to do things you've never done before. And it's also going to require you to stretch the strength card, right? Um, but, you know, again, I, I'm not here to tell people that things should be easy. I get tons of comments from people that are like, I'm tired of working. I'm tired of doing that. I'm like, okay, and then I don't go curl up in a cave and just lay there. I don't care. But what I would say here is like, if you want, if you believe that you're meant for more, which I believe in you, me personally, I believe in you, Scorpio, then I would push it to the limits here. And I would try to go for more in all areas of your life, love, money, business, spirituality, health, pretty much everything. And I would be kind of stretching it here because, uh, again, I feel like if you do that, then you will blow yourself away. Plain and simple. It looks amazing. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your quarter.